Hello, this is Tofu from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And uh, and this Quick Tip I'm going to show you as a beginner, someone who's just starting to use Blender, how you can manipulate the camera in your scene without having to do much work. Uh, this can be used for any version of Blender, 2.78, 2.79, 2.8 and upwards. So let me open up 2.8. That's what we're going to use for today. Open that up. Give it a little time. And we're just going to use the default cube and the camera for this scene. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press Shift A to or create an empty. That was just my chair having a creaking sound. But Shift A, empty, plane axis. I'm going to press S to scale that up so we can see it. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to parent the camera to the empty because I'm going to use the uh, empty as the pivot point for the camera. So I'm going to left click on my camera, hold down shift, left click on the empty, press control T, and from the pop-up menu click damped trek constraint. Click on that. And now no matter where the camera goes, the focal point is going to be that empty. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this window up. I'm going to pull this down. And then I'm going to, let me see, pull this across. And then here I'm going to press uh, 0 so you can see the cube through the, uh, through the camera. And then I'm going to pull this up so we can see our uh, timeline here. I'm going to hold down my middle mouse button to drag this timeline back and forth so I can get more of the front view. And in this window, I'm going to press 7 to see it from the top. Scroll down on my mouse wheel to zoom out. Hold down shift and my middle mouse button and drag up. And then I'm going to press this the uh, move gizmo, get my directional arrows here. I'm going to activate the automatic recording on uh, the timeline by pressing this button here. And then I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, click and drag on the x-axis. Actually just click it once just to activate the uh, activate the uh, recording aspect of the camera. I know we can't see it, but in order to see the uh, keyframe here, Hold down your middle mouse button and drag down, and you'll see it there. We're just going to go to 100. So I'm going to type in 100 to end the, the uh, motion, 100 to end the keyframe there. And here, in this little slot, I'm going to click in there, left click, and type in 100, enter. And here I'm going to hold down my left mouse button on the x-axis and then drag across. So I can just get something to work with. You can see that we have a keyframe at 1 and a keyframe at 100. I'm going to click this little button to make it jump back to the first keyframe. And then press play so we can see and look in this uh, viewport here so you can see what the uh, camera is picking up. So click play. And there, there's movement in our camera. We're going to stop that. If you notice, let me play it back again. If you notice with the camera, it starts slowly in movement then speeds up as it gets to the middle then slows down again and for some scenes you might want that but let's say you just want to go from one scene to the next with just consistent quick movement in order to do that we're going to go to our section this section of our user interface click on this uh, tab here and from the drop or the pop-up menu we're going to click on the graph editor and the reason why we have that quick and slow movement is because of the interpolation of the, the uh, movement of the camera and our, from the graph representation. Here it starts off slow and it picks up in the middle and then ends off slow. For it to be just a consistent movement from beginning to end, we have to change the, the uh, appearance of our graph. And in order to do this, make sure that everything in this window is selected. All these points need to be orange. If it's not, as you can see, it's not. Press A, and it selects everything. In order to make this a consistent, even movement with our camera, we we'll go up here to Key, and from our pop-up menu, click Interpolation Mode, and we're going to click Linear, Linear, 
and as you can see from my graph it's just a straight line now so if we press play it's just straight movement I know it doesn't look all that different when you look at it through the camera view but when you have a scene with where you're trying to put two um, scenes back to back together and you want consistent movement you, you'll see the difference there so this makes the movement of your camera consistent now let's stop that let's press Control Z and you can do quite a bit more with the uh, king of the graph because there are a lot of presets, presets in it if we go to key again go to add F curve modifier and here you'll see a lot of different presets that you can choose that will help you help your workflow a lot more efficiently and make you oh just knocked over my sharpener but it will help you create camera movement a lot faster as opposed to you doing it yourself now if we click on built-in function you'll see it adds some bounce to our camera movement so let's play that and it's like maybe you're shooting a scene where there's an earthquake and you want to it to represent an earthquake this would help out quite a bit because there's noise in the camera movement let's stop that go back to the beginning press Control Z to get out of that I pressed it twice to go back to the first uh, setting of our graph and if we go to key again add F curve modifier let's pick generator and this is pretty much just an up and down really fast movement to our camera if we press, press play on that it zooms out it's like you're almost like a Star Wars kind of scene or any kind of scene where you want to pan away from your subject this will actually look really good with that so this helps out quite a bit let's pause that or stop that and then press control Z again and let's check out another uh, interpolation of the camera with these automatic generators let's pick um, let me see cycles I wonder what that looks like well that's different I've never this is the first time I've actually looked at some of these settings so this is something new to me also let's press play on that and that uh, that is a lot smoother of movement and it's it's different you know you can actually kind of visualize what you'd want this camera movement to represent in the scene maybe like a spaceship scene where you have a spaceship from a first person view looking at a planet or some object on the land they've got this movement happening with the camera that's also helpful let's press space so not space bar but let's pause this control Z to get out of this let's check out one more <clears throat> excuse me I had to clear my throat there check out one more let me see um, stepped interpolation I wonder what that is oh, that's a lot of noise to the to the curve let's press play on that and there's a little bit of a jitter in this and this is almost like stop motion if you're doing stop motion or you want to mimic stop motion with 3d this would help out quite a bit too because this has a lot of jittering in the camera the camera itself is moving but it's really subtle and the subject of your camera movement is this jitter in the camera movement of the subject also which can represent stop motion uh, animation which is also pretty helpful so yeah that's uh, Blender's quick tip for today that's our quick tip for today is just using the uh, presets in your key for your camera the ter interpolation modes and all these different settings and the f-curve modifier to help you achieve or get quick results in terms of camera movements in Blender. So yeah, that's our quick tip for today. And I hope this was helpful to someone. And uh, this is, you know, the time when we're, the whole world is dealing with this coronavirus situation. So just be safe out there and stay in as much as you can. Just use a lot of wisdom in the time that we're in. And that's my advice on that tip also. So yeah. So see you guys on the next one and just keep your heads up. All right, uh, talk to you later. Or right, see you later. All right, bye.